Hello YouTube, um, this is a quick video to show you my solution um, for track switching with the new update and the powered rails. What you see here is my station. I'm not going to go in depth about that one. I might do a tutorial if there's enough uh, demand. But for now, what I want to talk about is this down here. Because you see, we have the detector rails now, but they detect both manned and unmanned minecarts, which means that it's very difficult to distinguish between the two, which really doesn't help in making a minecart station. Now, I really didn't want to rely on a booster, since we have these blocks now. So I've been thinking about how to make a switch, to switch between a manned and an unmanned minecart. And this is what I came up with. If I press the button, the cart will come up, zooming along, <laughs> I suppose. And if it's unmanned, it will not have enough momentum to jump two blocks. So it'll fall pretty much straight down, end up on this rail here, which leads to my return system. Which leads here, and I push the button, and it'll go back into the system and whatnot. If I am in it, it'll have more speed and it'll actually make the jump to the second one and I'll be off. So let's demonstrate. I'll push this and there's the minecart. And as you can see, it dropped on the first track and it came back. Let's send it out again. What you see here is a little glitch. If uh, you have a minecart track going down and you have a block diagonally across it like this, this track actually continues on the other side of the block. If this door on here is opened, the minecart can pass through. So that's a nice trick. Now let's try this while I'm, uh, while I'm in it. And hey, we made the jump. And off we go. So that is a very reliable way um, of distinguishing between an empty and a full minecart. It does require some testing because the distance and the number of boosters and whatnot is very important. But now that I have this laid out the way I wanted to, it seems to work every single time. So I just wanted to make a quick video on that. And of course, when we return, we end up here. Let's send it back. So once more, empty minecart will drop one space right there. Actually it'll drop three spaces but it'll go one space horizontally. A full minecart will have more speed and jump uh, two blocks. And that's a very handy way of distinguishing between full and empty minecarts and now you can make completely automatic stations without relying on the booster gl glitch at all. Except secretly for my pest dispenser down here. But we won't talk about that. I'll do a tutorial if you guys want, but for the uh, Minecraft station makers, I think this could be quite useful.